My name is uh, Farshid Aragizade. I am a uh, colorectal surgeon in uh, Dallas, Texas. I am uh, with uh, Texas Digestive Disease Consultants, and um, I have been in practice for approximately 18 years, and most of my practice revolves around taking care of patients with all um, sorts of colorectal disease, colorectal cancer, um, inflammatory bowel disease, diverticular disease, and other anorectal conditions. So March is indeed Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month, and um, it is a very important month because colorectal cancer is one of the leading causes of mortality in adults in the United States, and it's important for us to uh, be vigilant about uh, screening for colorectal cancer and trying to diagnose these cancers as early as we can um, so that we improve the patient's uh, outcomes and reduce mortality as much as possible. The increase that we're seeing is primarily in young adults and individuals younger than the age of 50. Um, it's very rare for individuals younger than the age of 40 to have colorectal cancer, but once an individual hits um, 40 years of age, the risk begins to uh, increase dramatically. Um, this is so much so that uh, the newest recommendations for screening colorectal cancer, for screening for colorectal cancer is at the age of 45, reducing it by five years from 50, which is what it was before. Colorectal cancer has few to no symptoms um, during its early stages of development. That's why it's important for us to um, uh, perform screening exams to catch these tumors early where um, we can treat them and where we can cure them. When symptoms do occur, they generally tend to include abdominal pain, rectal bleeding, and when it gets to be in very late stages, weight loss um, and other complications. most important risk is age, which is not modifiable. Um, again, as uh, I indicated earlier, once uh, the person uh, becomes 40 years of age, the risk of colorectal cancer begins to um, rise significantly, and even more so after the age of 50. The other risk that is uh, not changeable is genetics, um, which is one of the most important things uh, related to colorectal cancer. However, we do have some other uh, risk factors that we can mitigate for the risk of colorectal cancer, which is to um, exercise, uh, be sure that our weight is within the normal range, and to have a healthy diet, um, and to not smoke. Um, those are probably the most important things that we can mitigate in terms of reducing the risk of colorectal cancer. In terms of treatment for colorectal cancer, the primary treatment for colorectal cancer is surgical resection, which involves removing the tumor and a segment of normal intestine, normal large bowel on either side of the tumor, um, and a reconnection of the remaining two ends of the bowel. One of the major misconceptions about this uh, treatment is that patients are going to have a permanent ileostomy or a permanent colostomy, and that is really not the case. It is very rare that a patient ends up with a permanent stoma bag after an operation for colorectal cancer, which is a testament to the uh, improvements in technology and the way that we've been doing these operations recently. So in terms of technologies that we use for improving patients' outcomes with colorectal cancer. Um, we do minimally invasive surgery when possible because it involves smaller incisions and less stress and surgical stress on the patient's uh, beings and that allows for the patients to go home um, faster and return to activities of daily living faster. One of the other very important uh, developments in, the, in recent years for improving patients' outcomes is fluorescence angiography or endocyanin green angiography which basically involves injection of a compound that um, allows the surgeon to see the blood vessels during the operation. And so this allows the surgeon to reconnect and reattach healthy pieces of intestine together to reduce the uh, chances of uh, the connection not working and not healing, which is a very, very impressive new technology that we've been using. One of the most important concepts in treating patients with colorectal cancer is that we want to do the absolute best job that we can in order to um, 
uh, cure patients with colorectal cancer. Given that majority of the time this involves an operation, we want to do the best job in an operation to make sure that the patients recover rapidly and get back to normal. And so the, the development of uh, endocyanin green fluorescence angiography is allowing us to sort of be on the road to making this operation safer and to allow for better outcomes for patients with colorectal cancer surgery.